back to the channel you guys hope you're having a great day today in this video we're checking out the orangewood echo limited edition guitar this one's got a killer feature that you cannot see from the outside but we're going to check it out all right so let's open it up and check it out all right so here she is now the orangewood echo is a dreadnought shape which means when you strum it acoustically you get a big full balanced and bold sound if you're not sure what kind of body shape to get on an acoustic guitar if you want something that projects and has lots of full frequencies dreadnought is the way to go now the echo features a solid spruce top and pow ferro back and sides with a mahogany neck but there's a couple features that set this limited edition apart from the regular echo so this model features an ebony fingerboard with these beautiful inlays and an ebony bridge. So the combination of a spruce or cedar top with an ebony fingerboard is a time-tested combination, usually only found on high-end guitars. So it's absolutely amazing to see this on an orangewood. The other secret feature of this limited edition guitar that you wouldn't notice just by looking at it is it has an internal microphone for capturing tone. So you don't need an external mic anymore. It's got an internal one. Uh, it still has the under saddle pickup as well and you can actually blend the two tones. So it's a little tricky to see but the mic itself is tucked up under the sound hole so you can't see it from the outside. Kind of nestled in between the bracing and that's the main internal mic. Now the mic and the pickup are controlled by the center blend control. All the way one way is your under saddle pickup and all the way the other way is completely the mic and it can be blend in whichever ratio you prefer, which is really cool. Then you've got a tone control and a volume control and of course you press down for your onboard tuner. All right, you guys, so let's check out some tones. We're gonna record in three different ways. First of all, we're gonna use a high quality external microphone. Now this really is the gold standard, probably always will be. It just captures acoustic instruments in a really detailed and accurate way. Now you can't take a condenser microphone to you know a lot of gigs or coffee shops or whatever. They're so sensitive, it just picks up way too much other noise. If you're in a quiet studio, absolutely the way to go. Secondly, we're gonna record with the onboard condenser microphone. And thirdly, we're gonna use the under saddle pickup. All right, so let's check out the tones and see if we can notice a difference. So after listening to those clips played back to back, I think it's safe to say the external microphone definitely sounded the most natural um, because it captures the sound as it comes out of the instrument and hits the microphone. Uh, the internal microphone uh, didn't quite sound as spacious or open as the external microphone. There is a reason why, you know, recording studios use external mics. 
That being said, it's certainly not practical to bring an external mic to you know, a live performance, a rehearsal, anything where there's a bunch of other people playing. It just won't work. That's why this system was invented. So I think there was some differences between the internal condenser and the under saddle pickup, namely in the attack of the note. So I thought, you know, frequency wise, there was some differences, uh, but the, the note attack was, you know, quite different. The under saddle pickups are known for having, you know, a fairly aggressive attack and you get some of that thunk, thunk, thunk every time you play a note. Uh, you, I especially noticed it when I was listening back to the chords as I strummed through, you got a lot of pick noise and a lot of that really harsh transient attack and the under saddle um, pickups can have I don't know, like honky mids sort of. So you kind of get that really aggressive attack and some, some honky mid frequencies. Um, I thought the internal mic dealt with those in a more natural way, still not like an external mic, but much more natural attack on the node and got rid of some of those honky mids. I think another really cool option a person could do with a system like this would be to record with an external microphone and then blend in your internal microphone. So you have two mics going and then you could pan them or blend them for some really thick, spacious sounds. So the question is, is it worth it to have it on your guitar? Well, if you're ever gonna use it to jam with friends or use it in a performance setting or in a band setting, absolutely. And you know, there's lots of other sounds on this if you use the tone control and the blend control, um, you can really get a bunch of different sounds. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Hope you enjoyed the demo of this Orangewood limited edition Echo. I'll put a link to the guitar in the video description below. You can check it out there. Have yourself a great week.